Well, it is 6.05 and now turning to your voice, your vote coverage. More Democrats calling for President Biden to step aside and withdraw from the presidential race. Now, at least four senior Democrats in Congress are publicly calling on the president to quit. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest. This morning, lawmakers are returning from their 4th of July holiday as more Democrats raise concerns about President Biden's candidacy. Senator Mark Warner has scheduled a meeting with Senate Democrats today, assembling a group to ask Biden to step aside. But a source says because news of the meeting leaked to the media, it made it impossible to have the conversations between senators privately. In the House, several top Democrats are now privately saying Biden should withdraw from the race including Congressman Jerry Nadler, Adam Smith, Mark Takano, and Joe Morelli. Five other Democrats in Congress have publicly called for Biden to drop out. The pressure comes after the president's debate performance and his interview Friday with our George Stephanopoulos. And if you stay in and Trump is elected and everything you're warning about comes to pass, how will you feel in January? I feel as long as I gave it my all and I did the goodest job as I know I can do. That's what this is about. Well, that is the answer that most concerned me as well. Uh, this is not just about whether he gave it the, the best college try, but rather whether he made the right decision to run or to pass the torch. In battleground Pennsylvania this weekend, Biden insisted he's staying in the race. Don't give up. And the president appeared confident in his party support. <laughs> What progress has been made here in Pennsylvania? Well, there's been a lot of progress. We've got a lot more to do, though. Meanwhile, a Philadelphia radio station now says it's parted ways with its host, who acknowledged interviewing President Biden last week using questions pre-selected by Biden's campaign team. The campaign did not deny providing the questions, saying we do not condition interviews on acceptance of these questions. Emwin, ABC News, Washington.